call horse racing the sport of kings. And even if one is not an enthusiast, most of us at least take an interest in classics like the Derby and St. Ledger. Famous jockeys too become almost household names, but few appreciate the hard work and training that goes into the making of a champion jockey. So let's pay a visit to the stables at Newmarket of trainer Arthur Goodwill to see some of the aspects of the life of an apprentice jockey. The apprentices usually start their career at about 15, mostly without previous riding experience, so that they can be trained specifically for race riding as distinct from hacking or show jumping. The day is a long one, the lads being at work at 7am, cleaning the stalls, rubbing down and saddling the horses for a canter on the heath before breakfast. For this they get the princely sum of 30 shillings a week, although a lot of youngsters would do this job for love. For a lad to reach the top of the ladder, his qualifications must include a real love of horses, an agile brain for split-second decisions in a race, a strong nerve, physical strength, and of course he has to have the right build. An average weight of five stone seven pounds being ideal for the beginner. Not all of them become jockeys, and some stay in the sport as stable lads, for example. Although they get opportunities of exercising their horses before and after breakfast, much of their work is less exciting. In fact, sheer hard work. Although these boys are content to take the rough with the smooth. The highlights of their five-year apprenticeships are the races they're allowed to enter. And young Tommy Masters, being instructed here by headman Snowy David in breaking in a horse, has already ridden 28 winners. And a boy automatically qualifies as a jockey once he has ridden 40 winners. One of these youngsters might one day be a champion. In the meantime, there's a hard grind ahead.